In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the gel wraps we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about all of their features, why you'd wanna use them, what other products there are out there on the market that you might want instead of as well as gel wraps. And at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training in boxing and kickboxing. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 34 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 17 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and you'll get videos on all of the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the ringside gel wraps we have for sale at Enzo. So gel hand wraps are a pretty staple feature at Enzo Martial Arts. We've pretty much had them the whole time here in our existence at Enzo Martial Arts and they're really popular with anyone using boxing gloves from boxing, tie boxing, kickboxing alike. They're a pretty popular, you could say replacement for wraps but that's not necessarily strictly true. I'll explain why throughout this video but they're definitely uh, an alternative to the standard traditional hand wraps. So I thought in this video, we'll go and look through all of the different features of gel wraps, comparing them to hand wraps. So the ones I'm holding in my hand are the ringside gel wraps. Now we haven't been with ringside that long. These particular gel wraps we haven't had in a particularly long time, but we have had other ones in throughout the time at Enzo. And I'll show you the different ones that we've got here so you can compare them and see the difference that you might get across the board with gel wraps. Now the main feature for gel wraps is across the knuckles you get a kind of gel mold which is then stitched into the, the kind of inner glove as it were. And gel acts as a really good shock absorber. So it's really good at protecting the hands and it's an easy slip on glove. Now one thing that people don't like about hand wraps is the time they take. Especially if you're not wearing them a lot in the class, you get to sparring, you're told to get your, get your gloves on really quick and get sparring. There's not a lot of time for people to do it. Whereas, while I've been chatting, I've just shoved the whole thing on very, very easy. Now, all gel wraps will have this gel sort of protection over the knuckles and the, and the sort of tops of the fingers. And it's really good at adding to the protection across the tops of your fingers inside the glove now this is really really good for people who have problems with their knuckles we do get it a lot you know people that come in for boxing and kickboxing there's various different problems that you're going to get with your hands and wrists and one of them that people have is problems with these top knuckles so hitting is just very very painful so just a glove on its own may not be enough in protecting that hand, so having some gel wraps underneath that slip inside the glove can be really good added layer of protection for those knuckles. And that's one of the reasons why people really, really like the gel wraps compared to hand, standard hand wraps because you get that extra level of protection. Now you can see with these ringside ones, it's a relatively short wrap and it does give some wrist protection. Now you can see I can move my wrist relatively freely in this, so you get a bit of wrist protection, but not so much. So people do ask, are these as good as hand wraps? Well, they're different. So. I personally think that hand wraps will give you way more support in your hand. It will help hold all the bones together inside your hand and wrapped right, of course, will give you way more wrist support. Now, wrapped right is definitely the key thing. If you don't know how to wrap hand wraps properly, then they're kind of fairly useless and they might end up being worse off if they're rubbing or pinching and you're gonna get more problems than if you just hadn't bothered wearing them at all. So in terms of slipping something on nice and quick, these are definitely good, but as a replacement for hand wraps in terms of wrist support, I would say that hand wraps are always better. The gel wraps aren't so good. In terms of protection for those knuckles, the gel wraps are way, way better than what you'd get of hand wraps. So it's a bit of a balance. Also, these things, you've seen how quickly they go on. So that's also an added bonus if you don't have any problems with your hands and wrists, but you do want something to go inside your glove, then that's, then that's definitely a real bonus of the gel wraps. 
One other thing with gloves is that they do get manky. So these gel wraps can kind of act like socks in your shoes. They're a barrier between your sweaty hands and the gloves. So it can really, again, help your gloves last longer, acting just like a sock, keeping the bacteria and the sweat away from the glove more so than if you didn't have anything on your hands at all. So that's all the features of this ringside gel wrap, but we also do other gel wraps. So this is the Cymac gel wrap, and we've had these, I think, pretty much as long as we've had the shop. They've been around a long, long time, and they've been very popular. Now, these are a similar kind of neoprene, and you can see they're not made anywhere near as good as the ringside. The ringside are much, much better quality, but they still do have that gel padding on the back of the hand. Now, these kind of slip on in a much more open way, and they're definitely, as you can tell, not so easy to get on as ringside gel wraps. Now, one of the features that they do have is they have a slightly longer wrist wrap on there. So if you do want that extra wrist support, then maybe these Cymac gel wraps are the better ones to go to rather than the ringside. Now, the big downside of these, as you can tell, from what has probably become a relatively dull section of this video is it's taken a fair amount of time to get the things on. There we go. So it's much less wrist, um, wrist movement, which is good for people who don't want any wrist movement at all. If you're struggling with your wrist, that's good. Um, and you've got way, way more gel over the knuckles. Now, the problem with this is it's actually reason, it's harder to form a really nice fist. The ring sides, you can form a really nice fist with your hand. This, not so much, but you do get the added wrist support. So, if you're looking for wrist support out of a gel wrap, these Cymac ones are definitely a better option. If you're looking just for the gel on your hands, the ring side is way better option because you can actually um, imagine it fitting inside a glove really nice and snugly, whereas this, mm, not so much. Now they're relatively equal price, so you get to choose between the two and see which ones you like. So there are a few other things at Enzo Martial Arts that we do that could go inside your gloves. We do also have inner gloves, which is just like a sock that you just slip your hand into basically. And they're great just, just really acting as a sock to stop getting the sweat and bacteria all over your gloves, helps prolong the life of them, so a really cheap investment. And we also have this kind of middle ground, which is just a little bit of soft padding on the back of the knuckles with a wrap, again, very, very cheap. Not anywhere near as good as gel wraps, doesn't give you as much protection, not as durable, but obviously a lot cheaper, so if you're on a budget, that's a good option to just help keep, give your hands a little bit of extra padding, a little bit of wrist support and keep your gloves in check. But like I say, it's probably worth spending the extra on the gel because you do get so many more benefits from that. So that's kind of all there is to say on the gel wraps. Definitely good protection for your knuckles if that's something that you want extra protection on there, it's definitely good. You do get a bit wrist support, but I personally say not anywhere near as much as well wrapped traditional hand wraps. Much easier to get on, really nice and quick, especially the ring sides, really easy to slip on. So that's kind of all there is to say. If you've got any questions about it, anything I haven't answered in this video, drop me a comment in the blocks box below and I'll do my absolute best to answer your questions for you. Now, another thing that's worth noting at Enzo Martial Arts, we do like to think we've got a pretty good selection of martial arts and boxing kit here. So as well as the gel hand wraps, we also have a really healthy selection of boxing gloves from the amazing cheaply priced Pro Box through Sandy, Ringside, and the best gloves in the world, Cleta Race. Got a really good selection of focus pads, including Ringsides and Sandys. Loads of different lengths of hand wraps in Adidas and Sandy. And something you definitely want to think about, which is no stinks, which really helps prolong the life of your gloves and stops them getting really manky and smelly. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's a short montage of people training in boxing and
very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the gel wraps we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. If you enjoyed this video, click the little icon down below, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos on all of the products we have here for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers!